The reason these pictures are important to show how packed they are, uh, somewhere close by that same weekend, uh, there were about 150, 150 uh, people that were released without a notice to appear. To me, that's unprecedented. How do you release somebody to the country uh, without a notice to appear? That's Congressman Henry Quay, our Democrat from Texas. Let's bring in now Republican senator from that same state, John Cornyn, ranking member of the Judici Judiciary Committee's Subcommittee on Immigration, Citizenship, and Border Safety. Good morning, Senator. You heard the congressman right there. At least 150 people, at least he's witnessed, released without even a notice to appear. So what we're seeing at our border is a flood of migrants who essentially are walking through a revolving door in the front and out the back into the United States. That's an open border, is it not? It is, and uh, you know, it's an invitation to the human smugglers who charge roughly five thousand dollars a head to move wow. people across the border into the into the country, and for people to successfully make it here, they call back home and say, "I made it. You come on too." And this is the very definition of losing control of our border. Uh, Congressman Cuellar, my friend from Laredo, Texas, a good Democrat, uh, he's he's exactly right. Well, you know, oh, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, uh, Senator, you know, those images that uh, Cuellar leaked yesterday uh, caused the Customs and Border Protection to release new video today. Okay, that's what came out yesterday. New video came out today that we would like to look at. And what's interesting about it is it shows another one of the kids' uh, processing centers. If we can look at the video uh, in Donna, Texas, and also in El Paso. And Here's the video right here. And what's interesting, in the background, Senator, is chain link fence. That green stuff back there covers chain link fence. You can see it very clearly right there. So this administration has said these are not kids in cages. But Senator, those are kids in the same cages that they referred to during the Donald Trump years. Well, we all believe that children should be treated humanely, uh, and under these circumstances, uh, there's no choice but to try to protect them from some of the um, sex offenders or criminal aliens or others that are mixed in with the population that are coming across our uncontrolled border. And so, uh, I, I, you know, we all share that goal to treat them humanely, but unfortunately, you can't treat them humanely when they're packed in like sardines because there are just so many of them that, uh, that the Border Patrol can't process them fast enough. Not to mention the fact that the cartels understand that when the Border Patrol is off of the border trying to process these children, they're not there to stop the fentanyl, the heroin, the methamphetamine, and the right. other drugs. When we talked to Representative Cuellar earlier today, he talked about the frustration that so many people who live in Texas and Arizona and these border states have with the fact that these policies are being made in faraway places in Washington, D.C., and yet the people making these policies, Joe Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris, have not come to the border since they changed the Trump era policies on immigration. Here's a clip of Vice President Harris being asked about when she was going to come to the border. Do you plan to visit the border? Uh, um, not today. <laughs> but um, I have before, and I'm sure I will again. She seems to think it's a laughing matter. Um, I'm concerned not just with her coming down, but I know that you're part of a delegation. I believe there's a large delegation of senators coming to the border this week. Are they going to get access? Are they going to be able to have pictures? Or are they going to be sent to some facility that seems to be running OK, um, better than, and, and not really getting a real picture of what is happening to the people um, in these facilities? Well, it is no laughing matter. And I wish the vice president and president would come to the border. I'd be glad to welcome them there and, and uh, so they can learn what I've learned talking to the experts of Border Patrol, Health and Human Services, as well as the local officials and stakeholders who are bearing the burden of this uh, open border policy of this administration. And, and yes, uh, Senator Cruz and I are taking 13 of our colleagues from the Senate to the border, as I've done before, to try to help them understand, let them get exposed to the same sort of expertise and advice that, uh, that I have as I've been there, uh, as you can imagine, numerous occasions. But the Border Patrol is telling us that you cannot build enough 
facilities. You cannot build enough capacity to keep up with the expected increase in flow of uh, people coming across the border. This, there's uh, the, the green light is out, and yeah. the, so far the administration sending no signals that uh, you won't be able to make it successfully across. All right, Senator John Cornyn of Texas, thank you for getting up with us this morning, Senator. You bet.